Hey everyone, this is Finance Course Guru again. I just want to help you out with the equals in per function. And what this does is it allows us to figure out how many payments or how many periods it's going to take to pay off a loan given the data that we have and, and given a, a payment schedule. So let's look first uh, here to the uh, column H and column I, and this is the loan data that we have. So um, this is a standard 30 year mortgage. So what we're going to do is we have 30 years, we have a you know standard mortgage here. $200,000 is the present value, that's the loan amount. Our annual percentage rate is going to be uh, 5%. And if you threw all this into the equals payment function, as you can see on my formula bar, um, it kicks out a payment of $1,073 and some change. So that's pretty straightforward. We've you know, worked on that and, and you've seen this in, in different calculators and spreadsheets. So now let's throw a wrench in this. Let's say that we are trying to do some analysis and see if we were to make bi-weekly payments. So if we were to make bi-weekly payments and those payments were one half of the traditional mortgage monthly payment. So, so we're going to make bi-weekly payments and the payment amount that we're going to be making is one half of the traditional payment amount. Let's throw this in our box here and see what we get. So $200,000 doesn't change, right? That's still the um, cost of the house or uh, boat or whatever it is that you're going to buy uh, with this loan. Now the payment per period does change a little bit. And you can see in my address bar, what well, all that I did was take the um, monthly payment times that by 0.5 because we're going to be again making bi-weekly payments for one half of the monthly mortgage amount, the mortgage payment. The future value for a mortgage is typically zero. This really comes into play when we're going to do some analysis on bonds and we get the principal back. But for, for this uh, analysis, uh, we're going to use zero as the future value because there's no money waiting for us, you know, at the end when we pay off our mortgage. And here is the part that trips up most people. You have to remember, bi-weekly payments is, is they're on a different schedule than making two payments a month. Uh, okay, so so when we make bi-weekly payments, we cannot take 12 months times two equals 24. That doesn't the math doesn't work out. Uh, that that frankly only gives you 48 periods. So what we do is we have to take 52 weeks in a year. Divide that by two, and that gives us 26 periods per year. That's a that's really important because the amount of times this rate is used to compound the interest, just a slight change uh, in, in that formula from 26 to 24 being the denominator uh, will, will, can can really have a, a an effect on on your outcome. So again. Present value is the amount of the loan. We have a payment per period, which is one half the monthly mortgage uh, of the traditional. And then we have our percent per period, which is our annual percentage rate of 5% divided by 26. So we put this in and it kicks out this number, 656. So what do we do here? Well, what this is telling us is that 656 bi-weekly payments are going to be needed to pay off this loan amount given that interest rate. Um, but you have to remember this is still bi-weekly data. This doesn't answer any questions really that anyone's going to comprehend. So if somebody says, well, how long is it going to take me? You say, well, 656 bi-weekly payments. That's no, of, of no value to anyone. So what we have to do is bring this back to an annual uh, conversation. So really, you know, what we just need to do is take a look at, well, how many years is this going to take us? So here's what we can do. We can take this 656. We divide that by 26 because there are 26 biweekly payments in a year. This will kick back to us and show us about 25 uh, years is what it's going to take to pay this off. So it's really, it's really a, a, a money saving venture if you can get your bank to agree to it because it's the same, again, same value. You bought the same house, the same boat. All you did was accelerate the payment schedule. And by doing so, you paid off the asset almost five years um, in, in advance, which which may, may not sound like too much. But if you think about what you saved, uh, five years uh, times $1,000 a month times 12 months a year, it's it's really significant. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, again, the, uh, the Eagles in PR, 
uh, is really a, um, a beneficial formula. It's not too tough to use once you sort out all the data and just make sure you're making your adjustments correctly. I hope this uh, I hope this gets you through any of these projects. Again, if this was uh, you know beneficial to you, please uh, subscribe and like and share. Leave a comment. Uh, tell your friends whatever you got to do. But I'll post these um, pretty regularly, and then uh, and then hopefully uh, I'll get you through these finance situations. Thanks a lot, everybody.